To get a clear idea about the capabilities of your employees, you can use a scoring system. This will allow you to rank your employees and help you to manage them efficiently. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hadi Ulvasher and today I'll demonstrate how to create a scoring system in Excel. For this video, I'll use Microsoft Excel 365. This is an employee evaluation dataset. This includes the criteria, punctuality, discipline, hard work, and technical ability based on which the employees will be evaluated. The words of the criteria are different from each other. Column C contains the words of the criteria. From the dataset, you can see that hard work carries the most weight in this evaluation process. We have the scores of three employees on a scale of 10, and I'll create a scoring system based on this dataset. As the highest possible score for each criterion is 10 and there are 4 criteria, so the highest possible total is 40. Now, in the first section, I will calculate the total marks of an employee out of 40. So, go to cell D11, type equal, sum. The sum function will be applied to calculate the total. Press tab to autocomplete the function. As the number 1 argument of the sum function, select the cells D6 to D9. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. You can see the first employee has scored 31 out of 40. Now to get the score of the other employees, use the autofill feature. You can see that Frank holds the highest total. In this way, we have got the total numbers out of 40. But this number is not the final score because the weight of each criterion is different and it plays a major role in the total evaluation. So you need to find out the weighted score of each employee. To take the weight into account, Excel offers the sum product function. Now go to cell D12, type equal, sum product. The sum product function will return the sum of products of corresponding ranges. Press tab to autocomplete the function. Now as the array 1 argument of the sum product function, select cells D6 to D9, place a comma. As the array 2 argument of the sum product function, select the weights. Press F4 to lock the cell reference, close the parenthesis and hit enter. You can see that the sum product function has returned 84 for Wilhelm. The process is that all the scores are multiplied by their corresponding weights and all the numbers are added to get the weighted score. Now to get the weighted score for the other two employees, use the autofill feature. And you can see that Frank has got the highest score in this weighted score system. Let's calculate the percentage of each weighted score compared to the best one. To do so, move to cell D13, type equal, select the cell D12, divided by the maximum score from the range of cells D12 to F12. To get the maximum score from the cells D12 to F12, I will use the max function, type max. The max function will return the largest number from the selected range. So select the range D12 to F12, Press F4 to lock the cell reference and close the parenthesis. Now hit enter. This returns the percentage of Wilhelm's weighted score compared to the score of Frank. Now use the autofill feature to get the number for the rest of the dataset. In this way, you will get all the percentage of weighted score. Finally, I will rank the employees based on their scores. To do so, I will apply the rank function. Move to cell D14. Type equal, rank, move to the rank function. From the screen tip, you can see that the rank function returns the rank of a number in a list of numbers. Its size relative to other values in the list. Now press tab to autocomplete the function. As the number argument of the rank function, select cell D13, place a comma. As a ref argument based on which the rank will be decided, select cells D13 to F13. Press F4 to lock the cell reference. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. You can see that Wilhelm is second in this rank. Now use the autofill feature to get all the ranks. And as expected, Frank has got the highest rank in this dataset. In this way, I have created the scoring system. 
I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating a scoring system in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge to create a scoring system according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. To check out our Excel blogs, you can visit exceldemy.com. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.